This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Steve Bradford, member of the California State Assembly. He is chair of BMOC, the Select Committee on Boys and Men of Color. You've now been back a few weeks, over a month, from the conference in Washington with President Obama, my brother's keepers conference, mm -hmm. focusing on boys and men of color. What can you tell us since you've been back? Well, we've had some follow-up conversations with the White House as to rolling out the program and looking at some programs all across the state and all across the nation that are working. One that the White House is looking at right now is the Alliance of Boys and Men of Color in San Juan King County, mm. and most specifically in Stockton, mm -hmm. where they're doing some great work. So they're sampling some programs across the country, and that's one of them. And we had a hearing there recently. I, I want to dig a little deeper, if I can, and it's a little dicey to discuss, but I don't think we should ignore it and when you think about boys and men of color there are different groups within that mm -hmm. there are Asian Americans African Americans Latinos and it seems to me that those interests are not necessarily aligned but disparate not that they're mm -hmm. competing mm -hmm. but just different challenges mm -hmm. within each group so how do you address unique challenges within those three groups per se by incorporating those you know those segments into the discussion and to working out the solutions. We have a great alliance with uh, Asian and Pacific Islander groups that who participate in all of our hearings. We have great participation from a lot of the Latino groups. So we're, the, we, we, it's a challenge, but we're right. working together because at the end of the day, they see they're facing many of the same obstacles of success. There's no doubt that collaboration is the key mm -hmm. for anything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I need to push you further. I mean, I think about Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Those challenges are very different, mm -hmm. generally speaking, mm -hmm. than African Americans, mm -hmm. which may have more similar challenges to Latinos, but mm -hmm. also different. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. So. I mean, we, we've seen that it, it, with some of the right. stuff we're trying to do with overturning affirmative action. Right. We wouldn't think there would be such a pushback, but we've also right. created a great alliance with some of those Asian groups who have come out and said we're in full support of dismantling Tool 9 right. and because we too face many of those challenges of admission, of mm -hmm. job opportunities. So I think there's great opportunity for collaboration moving forward. When I think about communities of color generally, mm -hmm. I think about, for example, South Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You can drive for miles and not find uh, organic food, or, or for that matter, a grocery store. Without a doubt. Uh, and there are also maybe not opportunities to grow your own produce where if you live in the suburbs, you mm -hmm. may have a small plot of mm -hmm. land. You're looking to change that with what's known as community gardens. Yes, I have a, a piece of legislation that if passed, would incentivize apartment owners and HOAs, homeowners associations, mm -hmm. to afford those residents and tenants the opportunity to have a little plot of land and grow herbs, mm -hmm. vegetables, things of that nature, not some great commercial enterprise that a right. lot of the homeowner associations mm -hmm. and apartment owners are afraid of, but just the opportunity to say, hey, here's this plot of land, grow your little garden, tend to it, but we're surprised at the level of pushback that yes. we're receiving on this so I, far. I think about Manhattan, mm -hmm. and I have family who lives there, and a lot of gardens on roofs, for mm -hmm. example, because mm -hmm. there, there's no land really, but mm -hmm. you know, some of the yuppies are doing mm -hmm. it, and mm -hmm. I mean, could it be that that model could be transferred to Los Angeles, that, or California, I should say? Without a doubt, and as, if we, as we met recently with some of those organizations, we're seeing we shouldn't start with no. Mm -hmm. Let's find the sweet spot of finding a way to make this work just as you go to apartments now and they've set out a little plot of land for the dog area, the little dog park. Well stated. And those residents are responsible for cleaning up after their dogs. There was some Good of, fertilizer. Exactly. <laughs> but some of the uh, apartment owners said, well, who's going to tend to the garden if weeds grow up there? Well, you police yourself, just right. like you do with the dog park area. So. He's Steve Bradford. I'm Brad Palmer, and he chairs the Select Committee on Boys and Men of Color in the California State Assembly. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.